Um, Fruit, it's a pleasure to have you on uh, the Nigeria Football Federation television. Thanks, Ewa. It's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so congratulations on your appointment as Thank you. Coach. Thank you. How did you take the news? <laughs> it's surprising, shocking to me, but it's something I can't say no to. And it's shocking, but I'm around, and it's something we have to do. The shortness of the time is something that a lot of people have talked about. Uh, do you think there will be enough time to have a team before, you know, a team that will be ready to compete? And well, there is a team on ground. I think this team is ready to compete any time, any day, if called upon. And yes, the time, it's quite short. We all know that. Because um, every coach has his own, his own leadership style, his own philosophy. And um, with the quality of players that we have, I don't think we'll struggle. But the only thing is, there won't be time for any friendlies. You know, that's when you actually assess your team. If they can actually do what you want, or what the technical crew wants, because I don't like to use the word I, because it's, uh, you know, it's a team. Uh, so if it was time to play at least two or three friendly games, and then telling me how you want them to operate in departments, individually and collectively, in lines, then I will say yes, but be that as it may, we just have to do what we have to do. Maybe in training sections, we can now tell them how we want them to play and guide them. So, are you categorically saying there will be no warm-up game at all before the first game? Uh, there will be out there, maybe here, maybe out there, but it's not going to be as competitive as you want it because you don't want to play the strongest team right now because of, when I say strong team, teams who can bully you because you have to be also aware of injuries as well. So it's just to, like a rehearsal to see what you've done in training to put into perfection. You know, if it was that time that you have FIFA windows, you know, you can go for it 100%, regardless of what, because, you know, you still have time in the tournament. But tournament starts only in January 9th. I'm not saying there will be friendly games. There will be a warm-up game. But it's going to be a very casual one. Knowing the team as technical director and now, of course, the man leading the team, what do you think are the prospects? The prospects, do you, do you trust that the, these players have what it takes to go where Nigerians imagine I want to get to maybe winning the game. Yes, they have what it takes. But you know, a uh, journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. And this is exactly what we're going to do. From day one, we're going to have a set up a meeting. We have to speak to one another, face reality, tell them where we are now, where we want to be at the end of AFCOM. And also, people have, also have, um, have um, you know, you have a goal. Federation has a goal, the country has a goal, as a player, as individual as well, you also have a goal. So we're going to set the goal for ourselves and make sure we work hard to reach that goal. So I think we have what it takes. We have what it takes to go all the way, but we have to take it game after game. No. Are uh, you also, while preparing and thinking about your team, have you been thinking about your opponent, Egypt? Uh, you've been talking about you know, most of your players maybe playing at the Club World Cup, at Ali, uh, Sudan and of course Guinea-Bissau, these are very strong sides, though maybe not on paper, but we know the Egyptians very well, they form a formidable you know, side. Uh, have you started also looking at uh, opposition scouting? Yes, yes, uh, we have to do that because uh, Egypt, I think the seven times winner, if I'm not mistaken, is a team I've played against, is a team I have coached against at the junior level as well. Uh, we know what it can bring to the table. It's not a team, it's not a pushover. Mind you, everything that have qualified for the AFCON is not a pushover. So we are going to do everything possible to see how we can, how we can actually analyze them individually and collectively and map out the strategy. And that's what you should expect from them to do as well. Because Nigeria is a big name, it's a big country in terms of football. And uh, other teams will also be planning. Yes, we are doing that, we'll continue to do that until we find a solution on how we can take, uh, take care of them. A lot of people know your philosophy. We're looking at the six games where competitively that you were in charge of the Super in the past, 
you know, at uh, the 2006 AFCON, proud to it in the qualifiers for the 2006 Germany World Cup. Uh, high scoring side led by U5 team Oran, 4 0 against Sudan. Uh, are we expecting the same philosophy or a government that we knew has evolved as a coach? At that time, you were 40 something or 40? Yes. But now you're 56, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Correct. You know, so 16 years. Have you evolved in your philosophy and your coaching style? And do you think you're better? Well, I think I'm better. I would say I'm better because it's experience in life. You know, every day, you know, it counts. Everything matters. So I've, I've watched uh, coaches. I've watched games, and I, I, I learn. We all learn every day. And the thing now is, uh, the opponents determines how you set up your team. So different. Uh, approach against Egypt, different approach against Sudan, different approach against Guinea-Bissau as well. But when the time comes, you see all of that. Okay. And mind you, you know, it's not a one-man show. I've got people around me. We have to tap from also. We have to try to sit down and 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 talk things through and come up with one one you know agreement or a decision. Of course, and I have the final say. And when the time comes, we will see. Uh, a couple of, uh, just an added question, a couple of your players are getting injured. Yeah. Uh, you have a Herculean task of also selecting 23 out of, uh, to get your final <laughs> list. Uh, hey, why that's, okay. I, why that's tough, that's tough, you know. Since uh, I got the news, uh, it's a little bit, uh, uh, I would say, I don't sleep well because of expectations, but I know not everybody, um, how do I put it now? There are people out there who want us to succeed. There are a few people out there who are also in doubt. But we will, we will do everything humanly possible. Stick together. You know, when I say the team, the entire federation and the players, of course, officials. And um, yeah, so we will we, we, we do what we can and make sure we put some smiles in the face of Nigerians. But having said that, um, African Cup of Nations is not, it's not uh, a small tournament, it's a major tournament. And Nigeria is ranked very high when it comes to football. So, expectations are high. I think with what we have on ground and the support of everyone, especially the Federation and of course the Ministry, I think we will do well. Are you intending to go back in court? A lot of Critics, analysts like we have in Nigeria I believe the Eagles should still go back to the wing style of play, go attacking 19 minutes. Are we are we going to employ that? Yes, they want to say entertaining football, but result oriented. Yes, AY, you see, for you to get out of the field and then have your formation right, you must have the personnel as well. When you talk about wing play, like people are clamoring for, yes, why not? That's always been our tradition. But whereby you don't have the Finidis and the Amunikes and the Hal Elahos, now Degba means from wing play, how, how, do you, how do you achieve that? But we have to try to be flexible as well, you know? And yes, we have, we have these kids now um, uh, from Villarreal, Chukweze, we have Simon. Yes, going forward, they can be explosive. But what about defending? We're talking about wing players, you know, offensively going, but you have to do a defensive job as well. But that's not to say, yes, we have to rule that out completely. We have to be flexible in style of play as well. If you adopt a 4-4-2 and then your opponent are able to counter you, what do you, what do you not do? You try to do what a bit, you know, you have to find other, other ways. Yeah, it depends on who you're playing against. Probably your opponent at a lot of point in time, the way they, the way they set up, that's exactly how he what he reacted to. Okay. Okay. Um, also, have you been talking with your players? Have you had conversation with some of them? Start yeah. Rising? Yeah, a few of them. Okay. A few of them, yes. And what have been their responses and how they react to you being checked? Yeah, they are they are happy. They're quite happy about it. Um, it's not easy. We all know that because. Um, Genero has been here for a while and, and he's played a fatherly role. He's a nice man, no doubt about that. So, parting ways wouldn't be that easy. But you know, everybody's got a job to do. 
you have your career to look after, you have your family to look after, you have a job to do. So they have to try to put it behind themselves as quickly as possible and move on. But no love lost. Everybody is still, you know, very close to Gannett Royal and we, we remain friends forever. CAF, FIFA has been, they've been engrossed with issues with the European uh, Association talking about non-release of players. Are you bothered about this? And uh, of course, I know you also look forward to them resolving it. Because if players are not released, it's... Yeah, of course. Everyone should be bothered. Because we, is, there's a list out there and it's centered among everybody playing in Europe. So if they don't release majority, how do we put a team together? I remember 2011, just before the uh, Olympic Games, London 2012, I, we won all the games. We were blowing people up, you know, 5-1, 3 3-1, And I, the players that, that were playing for us then, with the Uduamadis, the Gibbos, you know, 90% from Europe or 95% from Europe. When it was crunch time to go to Morocco, out of that lot, I only got only four or five of them. Or, yeah, not more. So it was a problem. So if, if European clubs are now saying we can't release, it's going to be a problem. But to put another team together at this, for this short time period will be tough. All right, coach, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Ewa. Many questions, <laughs> but it's okay. Thank you so much, coach. My pleasure, sir. Thank you.